Okay, let's talk about the MTLE, Elementary Education uh, Grades K through 6 Math Exam. So if you're watching this uh, video, I assume that you're preparing for this particular uh, license uh, certification exam in the great state of Minnesota. So um, welcome. Um, I'm, let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about myself before we get into this particular prom. Uh, my name is John. I'm a middle and high school math teacher. I am also the founder of Tabla Class Math. And what we do at Tabla Class is um, really um, do online educations, have many, many, many online courses um, from homeschooling courses to uh, test prep courses, etc. So I'm pretty uh, proud to say that over several years of working hard, you know, we kind of really developed some fantastic courses. Along with that, I want to say that we do offer an MTLE elementary education grades K through six math exam test prep course. I'm going to leave the link uh, to that in the description of this video. So if that's something you want to check out. But um, what I want to do is kind of give you a little pop quiz and then talk a little bit more about some of the math that you're going to see on this uh, particular exam. Now, uh, the MTLE elementary education uh, math exam, a lot of people, if you just at first glance would just say, okay, elementary education and, you know, what comes to mind is like basic decimals, fractions, place value, real, you know, elementary kind of mathematics, right, or elementary kind of uh, uh, level. Um, but uh, that's not the case, okay? When it comes to elementary education, at least the MTLE and, and most other states uh, as well, you need to know a considerable amount of high school level math, algebra, geometry, amongst other topics. So um, if you haven't taken a look on what's what's actually, you know, expected for you, uh, uh, the type of math you need to know on this particular exam, definitely uh, something you want to look at before you walk in and actually take it, okay? Because you really do want to be pre uh, prepared and again, even if you're strong at math, uh, you need to review and do a lot of practice uh, before you walk into this particular exam, just so you can, you know, go in there and take it the first time and, and be done with it. All right, so along with uh, that, uh, I want to go ahead and just take a look at a quick kind of pop quiz, um, kind of have a little fun with, it, if you will. So this is a, a real basic type of problem that you should be able to uh, solve right now. Now, if you can't solve this problem, don't worry about it. Certainly, if you get it right, it's, it's by no means, you know, a, a full check hey, that you're you're ready to go for this exam. But if you if you can't get this problem, this level problem correct, then that's a real red flag that you got a lot of kind of work to do. So um, just kind of use it as feedback. But um, but anyways, if you want to go ahead and try to solve this basic equation, you may want to pause the video. Of course, I'm going to solve it, and we'll talk about a few other things. Okay, so we have a basic algebra e equation here. Now, I'm going to solve this, of course, but let's take a look at a simpler like version of it, okay? So I have a fraction in front of x equals some number, okay? So let's take a look at like a kind of a more basic uh, algebra example. What if I had 2x is equal to 8? Okay, so I'm kind of getting rid of this negative number and this fraction. Just let's look at a basic uh, algebra problem. So what do we do here? Well, 2x equals 8. Hopefully you remember that we have to divide both sides of the equation by 2. So x would be equal to 4, okay? So real, real basic stuff. If you didn't quite remember that, or you kind of like, oh yeah, I kind of remember that, then that's great. Again, maybe you're just starting to prepare for this exam, so don't beat yourself up too too much, okay? If you're like, I don't, don't get frustrated, like, oh, I don't get this, then I'm gonna really get lost. No, it's just the whole purpose behind this little quiz is just to give you a spot check, just to gauge where your current skills are, okay? You obviously can, um, you know, work towards improving your math skills. Uh, that's, a you know, what my course and other programs are um, out there for. But anyways, just a quick review of solving real basic, what we call one-step equations. Because if you look at this equation here, it took me exactly one step to solve the answer. Okay, all I needed to do is divide both sides of the equation by two. Now, when you're learning basic algebra, we start off with one-step equations, then we move into something called two-step equations, and then we kind of graduate to something called multi-step equations. And this is kind of the foundation of solving uh, algebra equations. So this is an example of a one-step equation. Now, here, if you're saying, okay, let's just follow the pattern, two-thirds x equals negative seven. So if I divide both sides of the equation, 
by this number in front of the x. Well, is that the idea here? Okay. Well, it is the idea. All right. So I can I can solve this equation by dividing both sides of the equation here by two thirds, and I'm going to get the correct answer. But a more direct way of doing that. Let me write this over here. Two thirds x equals negative seven. Okay, so I can do this work, and if you want to pause the video, actually this is a good little pop quiz here for you as well. See if you can figure this out. Okay, if uh, two thirds divided by two thirds, any number divided by itself is what? Okay, any number divided by itself is just one. So you don't really have to do this math because anything divided by itself is just one. But I'm interested to see if you can figure out what this is. So this is negative seven divided by the fraction two thirds. Okay, let's see if you can figure that out. Okay, so let's get back to solving this problem here. Now, when you have a fraction in front of a, var a variable like this, the easiest way to solve this type of problem is to flip the fraction in front of the x, okay, when it's a one-step variable, flip it. We call that the reciprocal, all right? So this is going to be 3 halves, all right? So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 3 halves. So, the, the, again, I'm re flipping this fraction here, right? That's called the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal, which is 3 halves. Now, remember in algebra, whatever you do to one side of the equation, in this case, I'm multiplying by 3 halves. I have to do to, uh, the same thing on the other side. So now, all I have to do is figure out, okay, negative 7 times 3 halves is going to be negative 21 over 2. And that is, in fact, the answer. That's uh, what x is equal to, right? That's our solution. So let's go back to this part here. I said, if you can figure this out, negative 7 divided by 2 thirds. Well, let's just kind of, you can kind of see how I'm saying it verbally. Negative 7 divided by the fraction 2 thirds. Okay, let me write that a little bit better. So what happens when I'm dividing fractions? Well, remember when you divide fractions, let me use this color here. When I'm dividing fractions, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this fraction problem into a multiplication problem. Okay, so I'm going to keep this negative 7. I'm going to turn this into multiplication, and I'm going to flip this fraction here, 3 halves. So this is how we divide fractions. We, we uh, change those problems into multiplication problems by flipping the fraction to the right. Now look at that. I got negative 7 over 1 times 3 halves, okay? And this should look like what we just did over here, okay? It's basically the same thing. So you can think of solving these basic one-step equations that involve fractions this way or this way, okay? Of course, in my course, I teach both ways, and it's good for you to, to understand both ways because as you do more complicated algebra, um, equations, uh, you're obviously going to be working more and more with fractions. It's better this technique here or looking at the problem in this manner is uh, really the better way of, of handling this type of uh, basic equation. All right, so um, just a quick pop quiz again. Uh, if you didn't get this right, um, you know, no big deal. It's just a frame of reference so you can kind of figure out what you need to do. Now, if by some chance you got your calculator out and changed these values into decimals, then that's a big no-no. Okay, <laughs> definitely don't do that. So, you know, put your calculator aside. Always try to solve things without the aid of a calculator. Of course, some of these exams will allow calculators on certain sections. Some allow them. Some are multiple choice. You're going to have to. I don't know off the top of my head all the details for this particular exam. You're going to have to know them. But anyways, you need to be able to do math without the aid of a calculator uh, when you can. All right, so let's go and wrap this video up. Again, uh, I have a complete full uh, test prep course for the MTLE Elementary Education uh, grades K through six math exam. I'm going to leave the link to that course in the description of this video. But I also want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Um, I literally, well, at, at the time of this video, I've been on YouTube for 12 years. Um, just recently, crossed over 100,000 subscribers. I think as of when I post this video, I'm well, close to 127,000 subscribers and like 13 million plus views. And I only say that to to kind of reflect my commitment to teaching. I mean, I just I I like I love to teach math. I've been doing it for a long, long time online, 
and you just naturally, like anything you've been doing for a long time, you, you tend to get better at it. So I've um, generated quite a bit of uh, tutorials and lessons and all kinds of stuff that definitely can help you out. I try to organize it um, in a pretty logical way on my channel. So, um, so I have a ton of free resources there. If you like my teaching style, you can go on my channel and uh, check things out. But if you want my best work uh, for this uh, exam, you want to check out my test prep course. Hey, if you like the video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up. And give me some feedback. Uh, you know, are you uh, new to teaching or is this your first job you know, coming out of college? Uh, or are you switching careers, you know, where you're a professional doing something else and you know, now you're you know, choosing to become a teacher? You know, any feedback is good feedback. I will say this, I always um, uh, leave this, well, I try to always leave this com comment with any uh, teacher certification exams for people who are taking them because I know for myself I actually took the praxis exam to teach middle and high school math and it was very challenging I have a degree in math and a master's degree and I'll tell you something it was still challenging uh, so these exams um, are challenging and they should be challenging because you're you know these are professional level exams but at the same token uh, there's many people who don't pass these exams the first time out and it runs the board whether it's elementary middle uh high school it doesn't make a difference okay um so if you find you know if you're one of those folks that didn't make it the first time out don't do not be uh, be, uh become discouraged what whatsoever okay what you want to do is just adjust your 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 study plan and and kind of come at it at a different angle and just over prepare really you know um study as hard as you can and then go back at, uh, to the drawing board and take the test again but don't get discouraged because uh and i might be telling something you already know as well you probably even if you talk to some of your friends that are going to be teachers they'll tell you you know hey i struggle with this or i passed that or i didn't pass that or i took this again so and of course you know you don't want to take an exam you don't want to fail an exam but it does happen all right and oftentimes with these um uh, certification exams that involve math math is usually the culprit that really gets people okay so Hopefully this little video helped you out. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your education career. Thank you for your time and have a great day.